Hello. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hold on, let me let me go to the redeems page. You got your redeems, you got your sunglasses, you got your, your fried egg, there it is. Okay. Is the music kinda loud? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's probably fine. Anyway, welcome. Uh, welcome Duck, welcome Street Moments, welcome Ascapade, um, Snack Oracco, Slime Molder, uh, Shima Panic, Nelly, Loaf Key, Zoli, Stanley, uh, Meadows Lunashi, Nutritious, Tag Barrel, Soli, and it's uh, Chris, Chris Sama, welcome. Did I miss anyone? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Welcome, um, I'm gonna be doing art today. I haven't decided what I'm drawing, I, I don't know. We, we might do like some gesture drawing, you know? It's been a while since I've done some gesture drawing. Well, you guys know, I can, I can draw somewhat realistically if I wanted to. So maybe I could do that today. I don't know. This is unlike the other streams where I would have redeems on because, um... I don't know, I guess I could turn on redeems. Yeah, jester, like like a, like a clown. No, jesters. And it's like, you know, you guys know jester drawing. It's like when you, got, when you draw stuff like this, you got like the, the person, and then it's like, whoa, look at this, they're posing. And it's like, look at this guy, <laughs> oh, this guy. It's like that, jesters right there. Also, welcome Tokojax. So I'm using my iPad. This is uh this is usually how I draw. I use my iPad. Oh yeah, we could do gesture drawings. I don't know. It's been a while. I've I've done gesture drawings on stream before. Some some time ago. I forget when. I forget when the last gesture drawing stream was. Actually, let me check. I'm gonna check YouTube right now. What was the last drawing stream? Actually, I don't know how to search. I always search my my channel. Have I ever done VR art stuff? I have. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I feel like it's, it's too much effort, you know. If I'm drawing, I'd like to be just just drawing on like a flat surface. I think one of the first VR streams I've done was like there's a there's a VR art modeling program you can use. You can like make shapes in 3D. It was pretty cool though. I used it. So let me let me check. Gesture drawing. Check in my streams. Um, I did one two years ago. I did one nine months ago. I think the nine months ago. That was my <laughs> that was my most recent gesture drawing stream. This was back in uh, September of 2022. I was there. This was on Twitch. And I was using, there's this website called Line of Action. Some people like using it. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll do that. And then if I can, if I can figure out what I want to draw, if I have any ideas for stuff to draw, I could, I could draw other stuff. Now let's open up Firefox. It's opened up. It's right there. Okay, Firefox is open. Through Line of Action dot com line dash of dash action dot com this is a website you can go to you can do gesture drawing you can do figure drawing i will choose um models that have clothing all genders ages adult what kind of session uh class mode i guess how long of a class let's do uh i don't know Enable nudity? No, but then I can't show it on stream then. Let's see, uh, one hour? Maybe one hour. 10 poses, 30 seconds. Okay, whatever, I'll do it. I'll go this. I'm gonna start right now. Actually, let me pull it up on screen. Firefox, have that open. Firefox. This right there. You can sort of see it. You can just barely see it. There it is. Here, I'll have it, I'll have it like, like over here, like over here, I don't know. Let's put it over there. I think last time when I did this kind of stream, I just like blurred everything because I wasn't sure if something was gonna show up. 
Anyway, we're going. Okay, there's a guy. Actually, no, it's kind of hard for me to see it. Okay, no, I have it open. I have one monitor, guys. I have one monitor. Should I blur this? I feel like I should blur this. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to blur it. I'm going to add, uh, add a filter. Blur. Actually, that's already there. Okay, you guys, you, you don't get to see, okay? You can sort of see it. You can sort of see it. But I can see the whole thing. Okay, so first one. Okay, I guess we skipped the first one because I was setting up. The blurring makes it more sus, does it? No. <laughs> Only if you imagine things, okay? Okay, so first thing, I haven't done this in a while. It's been quite some time since I've done gesture drawing. And so I've forgotten exactly how to do it. But I will make an attempt and try to draw fast these are these are like 30 second gestures okay i could not draw fast enough that was not fast enough <laughs> i'm drawing way too slow okay there's we got this lady she's got like fairy wings it's like what is it pomu rain puff well it's also kind of hard to to talk when when doing this because you gotta focus on drawing fast and i don't know if i can focus i can talk and rechat and draw <laughs> in a rapid pace okay that is really fast that is a that is 30 seconds that is a really fast gesture drawing i cannot really draw this fast it's like if you have if you have a bunch of warm-up you could you could draw this fast but me, as someone who hasn't done this in a while, I'm like, man, this is hard. How do people do things like this? How does anyone... Okay, there's a guy here. <laughs> uh, did I say welcome, Zoli? I don't know if I did. Okay, there's a guy here. He is he is holding his leg and he's going this way. Okay, at some point, these gesture drawings, will they, they will slow down. You will have more time after a certain point. This guy is, okay, his hand, okay, I drew this not far enough. This guy is looking down. <laughs> He's like, there. Yeah, practice. You gotta draw faster. Okay, there's a lady in a wheelchair. There's good, good inclusivity. You don't normally get this stuff. But I don't know how to draw a wheelchair, so... I got this, and then we got a leg. So, like, there's a wheel over here. I'm not used to drawing background things in this, um... Okay, there's a lady we're practicing anyway how are you guys doing it is uh it is tuesday you know i've been doing drawing streams every tuesday for a while and this is a continuation we're doing more drawing streams nice one if you want to draw along you can also open up the gesture drawing website you can you can suffer alongside me you can be like whoa this thing is so fast i don't understand how to draw things this quickly wait this is the same this is the same as the first image i had i i didn't know they were allowed to repeat things is this <laughs> this doesn't happen they normally don't repeat images in the same session what the heck Give me another chance. It's true. I guess I, I just didn't draw it the first time. Got his arms. He's looking down. He's suffering. He's like, oh no, what did I do? This man is suffering. Okay, we got a guy. He's sitting down. He's on a chair. Like that. Welcome, Mooney, as well. Welcome. We got a guy right here. He is, uh, he's, he's got his hands up. He's going like this. He's, uh, he's sitting. This guy is sitting. Welcome, Mooney. Mooney, Booney, welcome. I'm drawing today. Okay, he's he's in a chair. See, this guy, this is a chair. This chair right here, he's sitting. Oh, no, now it's, okay, next one. <laughs> next one. He got a lady. There's a lady. She's right here. She's, uh, she's like this. I'm just narrating. I know there was a, there was a message in chat. It was really long. I, I can't read it. Because I have to focus. 
have to focus on just drawing really fast. Why does she have a sword? What did I say? I didn't what I said I said many things. It's not a sword, it's like a stick. Oh no, okay. I can't draw this. Okay, she there's a there's a person. It's focus I'm focusing, okay. And you got this. She's going like that. Okay. Anyone who's done these gesture drawings, you probably like recognize some of these. This one's like a, a lady in one of those Plague Doctor masks. One of the classic. You probably know this one. Everyone knows this lady. The Plague Doctor lady. She shows up like half the time. Hey, I'm drawn here. I'm drawn here. That's me. Drawing up a storm. Okay, this one. This one was one minute. The previous drawings were were 30 second drawings. So big brain for censoring the window. I, I technically don't have to censor it because like I chose there's a mode you can choose whether to include nudity or not and I chose not to. But you know you never know. Twitch.tv you, you never know. They could bonk you for people that are entirely clothed. And so you know, you have to be careful. You guys see the new Twitch policy around like sponsorships? They're like, you can't, you can't freaking put sponsorship content on your stream at full size. I mean, I never do sponsored content, so it doesn't affect me. But um, it does affect many people that make money from Twitch. I'm not one of these people. Twitch bonking. Less ads is going, yeah, but like they gotta make their money, right? <laughs> Your favorite streamers, if they do sponsor deals, how are they gonna make their money now? New sponsorships causing a strike. Did I say welcome, Proud's not Jack? I'm not either, but it's just a weird update. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Why are they even choosing to do this? Okay, there's a guy with a hammer. Look at this guy. He's got a hammer. This man, MC Hammer. Okay, let's go, let's go down like this. Seems like they can do sponsorships, they just have to declare it through Twitch. I, I guess like Twitch just wants like a bigger cut of the money. <laughs> anyway, there's too many people getting sponsorships and we're not getting any of this money. And so they demand, they demand to have the money. I don't know. I've had the opportunity to like through through stream elements if I wanted to do sponsored deals I could. But there's none of them that I'm really interested in. You know, none of them none of them suit my my style of streaming. None of those none of them are games that I would play. And this guy's just this guy's just on a bunch of rocks. This is a hard pose to draw because like I don't know, what am I supposed to do with this one? The logos, yeah, 3% size logo. Get out, get out the ruler. Measure out the exact 3% size. <laughs> no Raid Shadow Legends. I will never, I will never Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, this is also kind of hard to see because this guy... His head is like is like over there. He's looking down. This is a, this is a back view. Got like his hands over there. He's he's doing this. I don't know. Three percent of the picture. This looks like a like a Fortnite dance. Okay, we got we got this guy. You might also recognize this guy if you do if you do these sorts of uh, gesture drawing streams or not streams. Just if you do gesture drawings, you might recognize this guy. This is a guy with like a like a cloth, and he has the cloth draped around him. Just like that, and then he's got he's got a leg going going this way, and it's like that. I think my proportions are all messed up here. This doesn't actually look good like at all. 
Since Twitch announced they want to directly deliver sponsorship, <laughs> sponsorship, the streamers also need to read sponsorship deals if they take them. Does Twitch have like direct sponsors? I, I know like a long time ago, they used to have something called, um, actually I forget what it was called, but they had their own in-house like sponsorship thing. They're called bounties. They used to have Twitch bounties, but I haven't seen that in a while. We got a lady over here. She's got a leg. As you know, many people they have legs. This lady has two legs, as you might expect. Not all people, but this one. Okay, and then she's got an arm over here. Okay. And her head is over here. Okay. <laughs> no, no, this is not that good of a drawing. Yeah, bounties. They also block start and pause screens with non-Twitch socials. Yeah, what does that mean? Oh yeah, you can multi-stream now. I think in the past, it used to be if you're a partner, you can't stream both on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Um, but I think now the... The thing is that even if you're not a partner or affiliate, you still can't, you still can't multi-stream. It's kind of weird. I don't know what they're doing. What are they even doing nowadays? Twitch, come on. Oh, these, okay, we've gotten into the five minute poses. Uh, I don't have the patience to draw, to do a gesture drawing for five minutes. So, uh... <laughs> Maybe I'll just doodle in the meantime. I'm trying to vendor lucky. What the? I don't know. It's simply, they're simply trying too hard. They're just, they don't know what they're doing. That's why they bring you Twitch built in alerts and guest star. Oh, yeah, they also added the, um, yeah, the built-in alerts and the guest star thing recently. And they've been trying to push those. Um, I haven't actually seen anyone use them. Oh no, that's not true. I've seen... Well, I saw Fillion when using it. But like, I don't actually watch Fillion, so <laughs> I don't know. None of the streamers I actually watch have ever used the guest star mode. I mean, I guess it seems cool. I guess it seems cool. What if Twitch had like an official VTube Studio integration? It could do that. Right? Possibly. You know, I'm just gonna skip to the next one. <laughs> I don't have the patience to do a five minute gesture. Okay, next one. Next drawing. You got a lady over here. Yeah, the little, the small Wolfie in the corner. Among us. He would, he would never be among us. Imagine being among us. Imagine being in the hit video game known as Among Us. Okay, this is the lady who looks like she has a sword. But I think it's just like a stick. It's just like a ruler or something. Also, welcome, wishy wishy. So, lady over here has a stick. Look at that stick. Fillion interviewed the Twitch CEO. Wonder if that was part of Twitch's PR to streamers. I think the the Twitch CEO has been doing several interviews, right? Across different channels. 3% of a 1080p image is 62.208k pixels. I guess, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't affect me. Because this is not my job. Fortunately, this is not my job. I just do this for fun. If this was my actual job, then... Maybe I would be concerned. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have to care. Alright. 
Also, like, I think I don't think any of the people that I watch besides Northern Lion, I don't think anyone really does the sponsored deals. <laughs> Usually, at least. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I saw a sponsored deal that someone did. This is technically your job right now. No, it's not. This is still just for fun. Also, welcome, Toaster. I have other. I, I make more from line stickers than I do from Twitch, so. <laughs> You could you could say that the line stickers that I drew like five years ago was was my job, right? <laughs> so yeah, I've never let's see, I've never seen a sponsored baked in ad stream. I think if you do the if you do the ads from stream elements, some of the sponsors have requirements that you add a uh, like a branded overlay to your stream. Some people do that. Okay, next gesture. I'm skipping this one. Okay, we got a lady. She's sitting. She's out here sitting. Sitting on a block. Line sticker pack volume 3. I don't know. Maybe eventually at some point. I don't really have plans for it right now. But I might at some point. I'm sure it would make good money. You know, I'm still making money from line stickers. It's good. It's good passive income. I'm still waiting for the the tax forms so that I can actually get paid and not get double tax. I thought this implied it was already happening. It does not. <laughs> it could though. It could happen at some point. I, the honest, like the thing is, I don't know if, um, like I talked about how if you want to not get double taxed from from line stickers, you have to submit like this US <laughs> this US tax form, um, and then I submitted a request to get that thing from the US government some time ago, and I did it via via fax, and I don't know if they actually received it. There's no there's no confirmation or anything. They're like you know we're processing a request or anything. <laughs> So, like, I don't know if that actually went through. But hopefully, I will get paid eventually from line. Eventually, okay, next gesture. Same lady. This is the same lady. She's doing, she's doing a fun pose. Look at this fun pose. Sometimes when you're doing gesture drawings, you get you get really fun poses. This is one of them. Doing that. It's got her arm going out like this. Look at this wacky pose. This lady, she's so she's so wacky. I simply simply don't understand what she's doing. What it's like to live as her. Okay, I drew this arm a bit too short. She got her hand going down like that. And this goes up. Also, I remember last week um, on Wednesday when I talked about how I, uh, I lowered my internet bill? I got the bill today and it was actually cheaper than I thought. It's, it's actually even less. <laughs> Uh, when I when I discussed it on the phone, she was like, "Oh yeah, it'll it'll be fifty dollars a month after um after the the discount." And I checked today, and it was actually forty three dollars. I don't know if that's just like for today, or <laughs> or I mean for this month because I, I called in like mid month. But uh, I guess I'll check next month. It is like forty three, which is like significantly less. I don't know if she misspoke or like. If she applied, it might be prorated. No, but I called near the beginning of the billing cycle. It's like, uh... Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> because, like, she did upgrade my internet speed from 200 megabits to, to 300. Download, I mean. And maybe because it maybe the the discount was applied assuming I was on the 300 megabits plan, which I think is ten dollars more. I don't know, whatever. All I know is that it's cheaper. It's cheaper than it was before. 
that's great. Love to save money, especially when I do not have uh, the same income that I used to. Okay, this one, there's a lady. She's She's got her hands behind. She's stretching the hands over there. She's looking, looking over here. That is the, yeah, the other leg is over here. And really no, no other updates today. <laughs> I did get my first, um, recruiter who has messaged me about like a crypto slash web three <laughs> position and I'm, I'm choosing to ignore it because I have no interest in doing that. But I was like, it's, it was about time. It, it had to happen at some point. It has to be someone like, Hey, we're doing, we got a, we got a crypto web three blockchain startup. If you would like to get in on the ground level, this is your, this is your chance. Tell them no, no, look, I, I talked about this yesterday. If you reply to them on LinkedIn, they get their credits back. And so the better thing to do is to ignore them so that they do not get refunded their credits. This is a, um, like in mail on, on LinkedIn, it's called in mail. If you don't know someone and they message you, they, they have to spend credits on that. And if the person responds within 90 days, then you get your credit back and you can you can message another person. Also welcome Dance Again and Marklar, PhD. Didn't Coinbase just get sued? I think so, yes. I haven't actually been keeping up with with news, but I did see the headline. I get game dev posts on Twitter. One of them was giving a talk at an online conference about game engine development. Watched about one or two hours on Zoom. One or two, sorry, one or two. <laughs> one or two what? One or two talks? I don't know why I said hours. Even though it wasn't in your message, I was like, yeah, two hours, one to two hours. One of the talks was by the internal renderers, the people that did VFX for Avatar. That stuff, that stuff is so advanced. Also hours. Slime Mulder said, do you always work from the core of the body outward? Um, I don't think I have a consistent way of doing it. It's just like depending on the pose. I think like one way that people suggest doing it is like start from like if they're if they're interacting with something like like a like a chair, draw start off by drawing the thing that's like they're actually touching. So like if their hand is here, draw the hand and then you do this. Um, but I just, I sort of, I just like draw the, I guess like the spine sometimes, or like the head, I don't know. It's different every time. Wolfie, become a game dev so I can buy a Wolfie microtransaction. You can already do that on Twitch.tv. You could spend money and receive, uh, emotes. You can, you can send bits if you want for, for no reward. Channel point redeems those. I guess don't those don't really count because you can't buy those with real money. Our right, next pose. It's a lady. She's in a wheelchair. She's here. It's a leg, right there. The second leg. And the transactions are definitely micro. I guess, I guess, yeah, does, does microtransaction imply that it, it's paid, you know? Does it count as microtransaction if you don't actually pay real money? If it's just like, hey, here's a in-game currency. I, I feel like microtransaction requires, like, actual, actual real money. Maybe not. What if I sold my account with 200k wolf coins? No one will buy it. Whoops, I just zoomed in. <laughs> this happens sometimes. If you guys draw an iPad, sometimes you just accidentally trigger uh, touch gestures. And then I just start zooming. Sub recaps are out. You guys actually pay attention to those? I don't. I think when they first released it, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. 
And then after that, I was like, eh, I don't really care. I don't really even care anymore. It just tells you like your most used emotes. It tells you how many streams you've watched from them. And that's it. That's basically it. Okay, how the heck do you how do you how do you draw a wheelchair? This is something that I'm not used to. Choco Jacks only watch for one day, 19 hours. No, it's because you, you have to start your stream. Yeah, you also yeah, you miss out like half an hour or 45 minutes because you start your stream and also the weekend ones. There's two two reasons. Two 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 explanations for that. But that also means that I also never I've never seen the starting half hour of a Choco Deck stream. Except when you were doing your subathon. That was the only time I've ever seen the start of your stream. Alright, well this this is done. Whoa, this guy look at this. this is some kind of JoJo pose. Look at this guy. Some kind of Michael Jackson pose. Gestures look good, thank you. I'm extremely out of practice. But thank you. Thank you. You should do gesture. You know what, Choco Jack? What if you did one of these streams? You could do a gesture on the stream. That'd be cool. You could you could be like, here's how I sketch out this thing. I have a problem of making them too large. There are certain programs that you can use that have like infinite canvases. I think usually when I do drawing streams, uh, just drawing streams, I use a different program. And that one you can just scale out as far as you want. I don't know why I didn't use it today. Maybe because I didn't think I'd be doing just drawing streams. Yeah, there's one called um, Concepts. C-O-N-C-E-P-T-S. That one, I use it. And it's pretty good. It's vector-based, of course, um, because, you know, usually if you have an infinite canvas software, they are usually vectors. But they have brushes that make it look like you know, like like this. Pencil brush, you have other brushes. Bam. Okay, well here's a guy. Here's this guy. He's like, whoa, what the heck? He's got his arms up. He is he's looking. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for the raid. Let me shout you out. What you, what were you guys up to? We're doing we're doing gesture drawing. Uh, you were playing Doom Eternal. Let's go. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome Galactic Junkie. Welcome Kiji. Welcome Advent. Welcome Welcome Yanose. Drop Shotter. Maxter. Dream Chaser. Butterzilla. Welcome. Hopefully uh, you had a good Doom stream. Hopefully you killed many demons. Right, that's what you do in that game. You shoot demons and. Uh, that's 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 what you do. Good good stream. Anyway, look, we're doing we're doing gesture drawings. I've not done one of these streams in a while, but now I'm doing it. I've got a blurred figure on the bottom left. You could try to imagine what it looks like. We drank to how many deaths we got. End up fish, finishing a whole bottle. <laughs> died, he died a lot of times. I feel like I would also die many times. Because I'm not, not that good at shooting games. But I I also don't drink, so if if I if I if I did one of those and I like had a shot a shot of water every time. Also welcome uh, thank you Advent for the gift it's up three months. Let's go. Three months. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for the three months. Person in the bottom right is a sex one. Bottom left. 
No, it's, it's just a guy. It's just some guy. Advent, also a Chocojax viewer. Also welcome him. Okay, next gesture. It's the same lady. It's the same lady. She's holding a phone and she's also holding like a donut. That's pretty cool. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't assume lady. I don't know if this is lady. Look at this. Okay, the legs are crossed. Like that. Got the other leg. Okay, it's kind of kind of hard to draw. You know, you guys ever draw? It's kind of hard to draw. A shot of mustard instead. Wait, what? What? We're out here shooting mustard. A shot of mustard. Oh, like if I were to die in game, <laughs> just just drink mustard. Just drink mayo. Just drink ketchup. That sounds gross. A shot of apple vinegar. That's actually a thing. I don't. I'm not a fan of vinegar. It's like it's too. It's too acidic. It's uh, it's too it's too much for me. All right, then you got she's she's got a phone. This is a phone right here. That's a phone. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't draw the phone. A shot of wasabi. Like real wasabi. You guys ever had real wasabi? Like a lot of the wasabi in the U.S. is really just like horseradish that's green. But then like real wasabi is apparently apparently it's like it's pretty rare. Apparently it's also very strong. I've never had it even when I was in Japan. Only like 1.2% or something in the paste of, of like real wasabi. Actually, this wheelchair looks pretty freaking cool, guys. Let me show it to you guys. This, this, they've, they've got like um, flowers in it. Look at that, they got flowers. It's pretty nice. Okay, put that filter back on. Alright, next one. This wasabi paste only has a fraction of wasabi, rest is horseradish. I thought it was all horseradish. I didn't know. Also, welcome, Hamflo. Right, next one. I think I've, um... The fact that I clicked next, I think I've ruined the, uh, the timing on this thing. <laughs> It says two more left of this length, but I've been drawing like two more of these for like forever now. I guess we, we, we'll just finish up this page and then just, I guess we'll draw like other stuff. And just be drawing other things. Okay, we got a guy right here. This is the guy with the axe. This guy out here, he's got an axe. He's swinging it. He is a very powerful man. Okay, and he's like facing, he's facing this way. He's got his arm going up like that. You guys ever have this issue where like when you're doing a gesture drawing, you end up like overlapping two things. I drew this guy a bit too close to the other one. Okay, so you got this. It happens all the time. It literally is happening to me right now. In digital, you can just move them around. Yeah. That's why digital drawing is cool. Usually I end up too close to the canvas edge, at least on real paper. That's also a thing. You gotta like, oh no, it doesn't fit. And you have to like squeeze it in there. Okay, here's an axe. This guy right here, he's got an axe. Sorry, axe, I mean a hammer. Why did I say axe? Everyone gets their own layer. I just use, I just use one layer. You think you can afford multiple layers in this economy? 
even dragons only have one layer. That's where they put all their gold. That's where the dragons put all their gold, in their lair. If they had multiple layers, you know how much effort that would be to maintain? They have to go back and forth. They would have to hire someone. They'd have to hire like a layer accountant. Anyway, there's a bunch of recurring characters here. This lady has showed up. This is probably like, whoops. It's probably like the, the third time she's shown up. Layers are for cowards. Single layer. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a one layer. It's one layer art for gesture drawing. A subcontractor, a dragon. You think dragons do they do they ever work for each other? You know, this one dragon who's got all the gold. You think they, they pay all the dragons? What do they even do with the gold? They just like it because it's shiny? You just sit on it? Don't even know what they do. Like, how are they going to spend it? Who's going to... They just sit on it? Maybe it's like it's cool, right? Maybe like because it's like hot in the cave. Is gold cool? <laughs> does, is it, does it... Is it hot? I don't even know. It's like a it's like a conductive metal though, right? Alright, next one. Next one. Okay, this guy, this guy on the rocks again. Yeah, probably conducts heat. Imagine a cyber dragon hoarding Bitcoin. Ruining the global economy. Destroying the world. In one D&D show, some dragons work for one boss dragon. They hoard gold for fun. It really says a lot about society. You know, they're just like they're just like the real rich people in the world. They're just hoarding all the wealth. Maybe the dragons were uh, real all along. Maybe they're real. Maybe they're already among us, guys. Have you considered that dragons may already be among us? Among us. Gotta convince that dragon to invest the horde. It's just sitting there. Yeah, like, think about, you know, the, the prices. Think about earning interest on your money. You can't just keep it in there forever, right? The value will deteriorate, <laughs> deteriorate over time. Okay, okay, got this one. It's got the leg. It's got a leg going this way. It's not, not a good drawing. The perspective in this is a bit hard. Investing in this economy? Yeah, you have to. You know what they say, uh, time in the market is more important than timing the market. Everyone says that. Let's see, weren't some dragons in Shadowrun kind of like that? I don't even know what that is. What is Shadowrun? Is that a TTRPG? No one wants to spend. It's not about making money, it's about having. Yeah, if you have more money then you could make even more money. That's how people get money, is by just uh, interest on the money they already have. I didn't ask if my mom ended up gambling on Apple. Is the Apple stock back up after yesterday? <laughs> we talked about how uh, their stock went down after they announced the price of the, the VR headset. Shadowrun has cool lore. It's like fantasy meets cyberpunk, elves, magic, and such. That always seems cool. I like when, like, when you have something that combines technology with, like, magic stuff. It's like when they have witches, and the witches have, like, iPads and, like, computers and stuff like that. If you have, like, a witch that runs, like, a, like a server in the woods, it's pretty cool. You don't see that every day. 
If anyone can convince people to spend 3500 on a niche piece of tech, it's Apple. It's true. And I feel like if they lower it to like a thousand, it, that's like the same price as an iPhone, right? Plenty of people would buy it at a thousand. Especially if they have like plans. You know like how people, people can purchase iPhones every few years because they're like, the, their phone plan provides like a, a way to exchange your phone. Like if they, if they just release models every year. <laughs> And you have someone that's like, yeah, yeah, every every two years, trade in your uh, your, your Apple VR headset. I'm gonna need an example of witches with iPads. Um, I don't know. I've, I'm sure. I'm sure they exist. I've seen them. I've seen them before. They're real. Witches are real. Witches really do have iPads. They are for real, for real. Definitely for real. Or like witches with phones. Smartphones. No, witch casting curses over TikTok. That probably does exist. There, There's probably people that like role play that kind of stuff on, on TikTok. It's like POV, I'm a witch and I am casting magic at you. Shadowrun Dragons, one of them basically owns an entire market. Became president of what's left of the US, got assassinated. What the? I don't know the lore. I don't know the lore, guys. Frog. Also, welcome, Robumu. Welcome. Shadow run. What are they even running from? Are they running from the shadows or are the shadows the ones that are running? How do you how do you run from a shadow? You can't run from a shadow. It's literally always following you. Or in front of you. Or I guess if it's nighttime. No, but if it's nighttime, everything is shadow. Also welcome your turn. There are people called Shadow Runners. Is it like Blade Runner? Are they the people that run the blades? Do people run blades? Shadow Runners run in the shadow. Yo, just like ninjas. Ninjas do that. They run in the shadows. That's why no one can see them. Hidden away from the eyes of Corpos. Big Corpo. Corpo VTubers. Let's see, which are like people who do jobs off the books mainly. Or like, uh, get paid in cash only. Get paid in, uh, untraceable cryptocurrencies. <laughs> So true, I've never seen a ninja. No, I've seen one. On Twitch, he, he used to stream on Twitch. When you think about it, he's like, not a good ninja, right? If people, if people know what he looks like. You know? Because like, the, the goal of a ninja is to, is to not be seen, but like, ninja's out here growing his brand. You don't want to do that. That's not even, that's not even what ninjas are supposed to do. So welcome modern. He simply should have been a VTuber. Imagine though, back in the day, if uh, if ninjas would like social network, you know, like go on go on like social media and be like, hey, look, here's me. Follow me, guys. I know as a ninja, I'm supposed to be secretive, but like here, I'm telling you all of my all of my tricks. A ninja on LinkedIn. A thought influencer. He influenced people's thoughts. Check it out, guys. Five five crazy tips to not get noticed by uh, your new employer. Most people tell you tips to get noticed. I'm going to tell you uh, that you don't want to be noticed. If you're stealthy enough, then it probably doesn't matter if people know what you look like, won't even see you coming. No, but then, like, what if you... What if they see you and you're just, uh... 
You're just chilling. And they're like, who's this guy? They will find you. Ninja taking a duck face selfie. Ninja the streamer? He's probably done that. I wouldn't be surprised if he's done this. Okay, here's a wheelchair. Here's a cool thing about um this app. If you draw a circle and you hold it, it'll it'll like, you know, it'll make it look cool. You don't even have to be good at drawing circles. You can draw something like this and then wow, look at that, it makes it into a circle. And so when you start using the body doubles, oh yeah, like um you turn them into the, the wood logs. Classic in uh, in literature, in movies. Yo, I'm so good at drawing circles, guys. Look at this. That is an oval. Anyway, okay. We're almost done with this. Next one. This one is the same lady as before. We've seen this lady several times. She is here. She is here, standing. She's just standing there. I feel like every time I hear someone say they're just standing there, they always follow it up with the word menacingly. From Spongebob. I recognize some of the pixels. Yeah, I feel like if, if you do gesture drawing, you probably recognize some of these. <laughs> they show up all the time. Constantly. It's a lady right here. The classic. One of the classic SpongeBob quotes. Just standing there menacingly. Right next. Oh, you might recognize this guy. This guy with the axe. He shows up all the time. This man who's holding an axe. He's got like a like a Viking helmet. You guys know. All artists have seen this man. And if you haven't, then you haven't been doing enough gesture drawing. The axe guy. I wonder if like if some if he like shows up at like a like an art convention or something wearing this, you think enough people would recognize him? He'd be like, yo, wait a second. Is this guy the guy the the gesture drawing axe guy? Imagine if they all showed up. If they were like a cosplay group, you know they have uh, the the plague mask lady. They have the the guy with the <laughs> the guy with the cloth. We got axe guy. That'd be like the most like the most specific cosplay group. And like they would you would only be understood in artist alley. You walk around the rest of the floor, everyone's like, what are what are you supposed to be cosplaying as? And you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You go into Artist Alley, everyone cheers. Like, Holy frick. That's the that's the axe guy. That's the guy with the with the chair. Exactly. No way. Is that the real axe guy? And then they have like one guy wearing a, like a muscle suit, you know, like what the, sometimes they have like these gesture drawing things and it just like, it shows you like what the muscles look like. They're all like red and got like the, the red and white, like, uh, like the Attack on Titan, except not. Do a group photo. Exactly. They can do so many, so many poses. Their most iconic pose, guy holding X. I'm sure someone has done it, right? I can't be the only one who's thought of this. Maybe they tried it and then like no one recognized them, so they, they're just like, you know what, this is stupid. <laughs> and then they gave up. You know, like, people don't appreciate true art nowadays. I'm 
go to the artist and say you do you did wrong. Exactly. Yeah, learn learn all the poses. Yo, this guy's doing a fighting pose. He's ready to fight. Actually, I think I realized that uh, in drawing these, uh, <laughs> the size has decreased over time as I as I'm running out of canvas space. Okay, here's a man. We've seen this man several times. So here he's doing doing this. Now we're running into this issue where I'm like drawing off the edge of the canvas. Okay, he's got a leg going this way. He's got he's got this. He's going, he's going like this, guys. It's like put him up. He's got his hands. He's got his other hand right there. like that just like literally like this okay my my drawing doesn't really look like he's in a fighting stance you know what I think my problem is this leg is too bent actually yeah from the references his legs like this why don't I draw like this or like that <laughs> like this like that I'm combining the word this and that it's like this it's like this, it's like that. Okay, it is, it is this lady again. She is, she is here. She is ready to, to move. Prepared. She is so prepared, guys. Don't even know. You don't even know how prepared she is. And the hand goes out like this. One thing that I'm not that good at is like drawing head shape. Sometimes I just draw like a like a like a square. Sometimes I draw like a circle. Usually I draw a square. It works fine. Then you draw the wheel. This is the wheel. Okay, we have an overlap. I'm going to move this over slightly. Always prepare. Never post prayer. <laughs> post. I can't say that. It's not because it's not a real word. Post post paired. Post parody. Prosperity. Post. Prosperity. What about Han parody? Exactly. Alright, next one. We we might be we might be near the end now. Okay. I mean, we, we've been near the end. I could end this at any point. And just choose to continue drawing until I, f until I fill up the screen. I'm gonna move things over to, to fill up more. Wait, hold on. Put that over here. You can make room for more. And also, look at this, you can move this guy. Move this guy over here. Look at that, look at that overlap. Convenient. Hold on, maybe I should move this. Yeah, 20 more hours. Move this guy over there. Move this guy and move this one. Right there we go. Oh, look at that. It's like Tetris. It's like we're making room for things. Exactly. This is exactly how Tetris works. Okay, so now, now that we have this, we put a lady over here, right? She's, uh, she's right here. Got a leg over there, and you got this. And that. She's looking this way, right? You got, you got this thing. 
And so you can you can draw things facing a different direction by just drawing a circle. Right? You draw this, you draw a square. You draw this thing, and you're like, whoa, what is that? Well, it tells you that that's the side of their head. It doesn't, you, you probably can't tell because I drew it badly. But it's there. Okay, then you got this. You got this thing. You got a leg. There's a leg going down. Okay, we're going to do this, this part. Gonna have it go over slightly a bit more. I think usually if you do if you do gesture drawings, you usually don't erase. But thankfully, if you're in if you're in digital art, you can just undo. It's that easy. You could just choose to use the undo button if you want. You can erase if you want. I guess you could erase in real life as well. I mean, not to imply that this isn't real life. This is, in fact, this is real life. I just mean, like, digitally. Could probably push this a bit more. Bam. I'm just going to keep going. Wait, I should hydrate. It's been over an hour. Yeah, hydrate sometimes. You guys also hydrate. successfully hydrated this conference had as discord for q a and graphics people are smart it's like a lot of uh it's like a lot of domain knowledge that's the thing there's things that you learn by just doing it and as someone who has not done it, it sounds sounds complicated Okay, let's put let's put the lady right here. See, after after drawing for a while, it is uh you get used to drawing a bit faster. Attempt to disable Control Z if I start gesture drawing. I guess you could. You don't you don't have to. You can still do gesture drawing without without disabling undo. <laughs> Lady, she's looking. She's looking this way, right there, right there. Develop, developing graphics stuff seems fun. Um, maybe. I could see it being frustrating though. A lot of like rendering errors. A lot of things not showing up the way you expect. Things being different across GPUs. Compatibility issues, driver issues. A lot of a lot of things. You could work for NVIDIA. They they do that kind of stuff. Actually this pose is not <laughs> my drawing is not that good of this one. The proportions are all off. It's not dynamic at all. Whatever. Not whatever. Who even cares? Okay, next one. Okay, lady. She she is she is uh doing a very flexible pose. I 
a lot of algorithms. Imagine, imagine knowing algorithms. Like the algorithms that you know for, um, for graphics, they're like so different. Someone mentioned Rust in the Discord. That's cool. Rust, pretty cool. All right, we are almost out of space here, so we are we're basically we we could start drawing other stuff if we wanted. There's a lady here. She's she's doing this. I think I, I drew the head too big. <laughs> okay, got this. Got her arm. Her arm is like this. Going up. And then she's got the other leg going like this. Actually, I drew I drew the the arm too long. It has to go like that. Right. Draw fast four, let's go. I was aware of that. I don't know if I can talk about it. <laughs> Remember okay, never mind. You know what? No. I did the I did the art last year. That was cool. Okay, we got this thing. Get this guy. This guy is so this guy is so strong. Got the arm going up. This thing. Okay, this one. No, I could I could still fit this. I could still fit it on the screen. There you go. Getting too close to NDA territory. There was no NDA. I just uh... <laughs> actually, you could always use that as, as an excuse for anything. If you apply for a job and they ask you, like, oh yeah, what did you work on at this previous job? You'd be like, uh, NDA. I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> and then you, just, you could just make up something. Could be like, oh yeah, but like, you know, uh, it, uh, you know, it was cool. I, I worked on this thing, you know, hypothetically. You can't confirm it though, because you're not allowed to say it. Everyone has to be aware that their employees are not uh, leaking confidential information on random Discord. <laughs> A lot of game devs not making credits because they were a uh, contractor. Yeah, that happens pretty often. Unfortunately. Alright, next one. Whoa, what the heck? This one is so dynamic. This guy's freaking like in a forest. He's like in a he's like in a real forest. There's moss on the trees. I guess I will draw him here. He's covering his his face with a leaf. You can barely even see this in the in the blurred image. This doesn't even show up like at all. Okay, his arm his arm goes down. He's got this. I'm just gonna draw his face even though we can't see it. And then just like that. So welcome Hypergoo. Art class. This isn't really an art class. I'm just drawn, you know. Oh, there's a dog in this one. You guys see this dog? Look at the look at the dog. Look at that blurry dog. 
but you guys you guys gotta see this guys look oh, look at the dog look at that dog yo is that the dog is that the real dog yeah peep the dog there's the, there's the dog what is that dog that dog is just there inspecting the wheelchair It's like, what is this? What is this device? What is this wheel? Sniffer. Yo, is that the dog from the Sniffer emo? It's not. It's a different dog. Me, whenever I see any dog sniffing. Yo, is that Sniffer? Is that a Sniffer reference? <laughs> Yo, that's a. It's just like it's just like my Twitch emote. Me whenever I see a frog. Yo, is that the frog from Twitch? Is that is that the frog from Twitch? Is that the dog from Twitch.tv? Me when I see any Koragi. Yo, is that a Karagi reference? Karagi underscore channel. Is that the real Karagi? <laughs> Promise I won't tell anyone that I saw you in real life. This is Corgi. Yeah, they made a real me when I see a fish. Is that the fish from Ralphie's intro screen? I can't believe it. Is that, that's, that's a real Ralphie. That's a real wall fish. It's the real wall fish. It's an art class, but only for me. No, it's just not even. It's not even a class for me. Joel, yo, is that spinning fish? Is that the, the Joel from Spinning Fish? And the fish who spins? Okay, we have a guy, he's looking. He's glancing. He's got his arm over here. When you say rotating versus spinning, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Joel, Joel, Joeler, Joelist. No, we can make room for more. You might think that we're out of space. No, we can arrange things. Put this guy, put this guy over here, move move him over, right here. Then we have more space, we can move, we can move this one, right, we can move this guy. Right here, yo, look at that. Wait, wait a second, uh, we could do this, yo, look at that, <laughs> whoa. It fits perfectly. Then and then move move uh, move this one. That one. This one down there. Whoa. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that. <laughs> I don't know if that actually gives more room. No, no. Hold on. No, we could we could move this one. Move all the all all of these up here. No, there was probably a better way to do this. I think that might have made it worse. Okay, move move this guy. This guy's optimizing way too much. Twitch already said they're gonna walk back some of the changes already. It's, it hasn't even been a day. <laughs> it hasn't even been a full day yet. Hold on, I don't know what this. I don't remember what this one was supposed to be. The proportions on this one look extremely off. You know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> what, what did I try? What was I trying to do here? 
What is, what is, what is this? Right, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna draw a lady sitting. And this lady right here, she is sitting. She's sitting down. Right here. Legs are crossed. There's a leg going this way. It goes, goes down. Other leg over here goes down like that. Oh, oh, that twitch. You don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, she is sitting. You guys sitting right now? Any sitters in chat? You guys sitting down? Is anyone not sitting down? That would be surprising. Typically, most people, I guess you could be lying down. No, we are sitting. Choco J sit. Are you lying down? Why is it always lying down? Do people ever lie up? Is that even a thing? You're like, I'm sitting down. What about. Okay, you can sit up though. <laughs> you can do sit ups. You can sit up. You can. See, the weird thing is, like, when we say someone's sitting up. We don't say someone's like lying up, right? It's always you lie up, you lie down. You don't you don't lie up. I just open up and walk through the front door at home. Let's go. He's now at home. He's now within his home. I'm gonna sit. Sitting right now. Right now I'm sitting. When I play VR, I'm standing. Tomorrow, I'm going to be standing on stream. Okay, you know what? I'm going to skip this. We don't have enough space for this one. Okay, this one, though, we can we can draw this one. The lady, as usual, right here. The leg, the other leg right there. Arm going down. Other leg right there. You get this thing. Yeah, home routine docs. Imagine everyone knows once you get home, you're sitting. Sitting down right now. Docs. Now everyone knows. Now we just have to find we have to find everyone who's sitting, and then we can find out where you are. Siri, show me all the people who are sitting. She'll say, okay, here's all of them. All of them sorted by um, proximity to you. People sitting in your area, local sitters in your area. Not babysitters, just like just sitters. People who sit. Why do they call them babysitters? Like what? What is the sitting part? <laughs> there is it because they're sitting. Are they always sitting though? They could be standing. Baby Sanders. <laughs> well, I guess I guess we're done. Um, they sit with the baby, but do they though? Do they sit? Actually, this is a perfect pose to put in here because because of this. Got one leg over here, you got another leg is going up. The baby sit. The baby doesn't the baby. <laughs> Yo, the baby, they got the baby in here. You think when the baby sits, it's called babysitting. The baby sit. He says, let's go. Yo, the baby. That's him, that's him, the baby. Imagine being a babysitter and then like if 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 the baby did this as a prank. You know, if if uh you had a babysitter and then they show up and it's just like the baby's just there. And they don't know who he is because they're not familiar with his music or memes. 
they're just on camera. They're like, yeah, it's a surprise. It's a we call it a babysitter, but the babysitter. And they're like, um, cool. <laughs> Who's this? I don't know this guy. He's not a baby. He's not a baby. I was misled. I was I was advertised to incorrectly. It's not a baby. That's a grown man. I can't believe they would trick, trick, trick us like this. They order a friend, babysitter. Well, okay, I guess that's it for this. Um, we have drawn many drawings today. Now we can draw something else. We can go draw something else. Like this, we're gonna make a new document. Look, look at this progress. Look at these. Drawings. We got this guy, we got this guy sitting, this guy sitting, this guy standing. This guy sitting, you got one, it's me right there. Some of these are good. I like this one, I like this one, that's good. I like, I like this one. That one, this one's nice. This one, I don't like this one. I don't even know what the heck this one was. What is that? When did I draw this? Anyway, we're gonna make a new document. I'm going to go... Find this one, we're gonna go into the menu, go to gallery, make a new document. New square document. Now we decide what we want to draw. And by we, I mean I. I decide what I want to draw. What if I start drawing like just uh, just a bunch of... What if I start drawing anime? You guys, you guys ever draw anime? Okay, hello, it's me. It's me drawing anime. Out here. With anime. Draw a circle. Draw one of these. Oh, this is so anime, guys. <laughs> this is so anime. How do people even draw? I don't even understand. How do people even draw anime? This doesn't even look correct. Dodoria from Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know who that is. I've never even heard of this character. Is that a side character? Who even is that? Drawing is hard. You guys have ever tried drawing and you understand that uh, it is impossible? Pink a big guy, that's one of the two that answered to Frieza. I don't remember, I don't remember this at all. When I think of pink big guy, isn't that just Majin Buu? Isn't that just Buu? Welcome good cat gaming. Yeah, I think what my problem here is, is that I drew this too far down. And spikes on his head, I don't even, I can't even imagine. Could not even imagine this guy. Jody. I mean, Filthy Frank. I've actually never seen any of his content. I don't even know what he's about. What does he even do? Who even is that guy? How? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not aware. I'm just not, I just don't keep up with things. I'm not, I'm not hip with it. I don't even know the memes. 
Harlem Shake guy. Wait, did he invent Harlem Shake? Wasn't it uh, a different guy? I don't even know. Anyway, I don't like this drawing. <laughs> Get that out of here. You guys ever do that? Uh, ha when you try to erase something, instead of erasing it, you can just drag it off the canvas and then it doesn't keep track of it. And then now it's gone. That is, that is a life hack. That's how I erase things sometimes. Just drag it out. It just doesn't, doesn't exist. Did something silly and others did it too? Question mark? What? Right, I don't know what to draw. It doesn't work in every software. Um, well, if if the software keeps track of stuff that's off the canvas, then no, it doesn't work. But I think most things don't keep track of stuff off the canvas, and so it should work. It doesn't work in Flash. It should work in CSP. Yeah, it should. It works in Paint. I mean, you could also just delete, right? You could you could just select it and press delete, right? But like in in iPad programs, I think it's easier to drag it off. Cause like on desktop, you can just press the delete key after selecting. It's probably more efficient. It shouldn't work in GIMP and Krita. I think it does. Have you tried it in Krita? I think it I think it works. I used to use Krita. A long time ago on Linux, it was kind of buggy when I when I used it a long time ago on Linux. It was pretty buggy, but that was also like a really long time ago. So they probably fixed up a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I don't I don't know what to draw. Um, <laughs> just draw draw some 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 stuff. Is that what's there? But like, if you if you unselect it, does that does that delete it? No, just like you, it's still it's still there. Like I could do this, right? It's still there. But if I do this, then it's not there. If I do this, and then I and then I unselect it. Maybe it doesn't work in whatever program that is. See, the only thing that I really like about GIMP is that you can open a huge variety of files. And export options. Yeah, I, I remember I used to use GIMP like a long time ago. It's Krita. Well, I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't work in Krita. It works here, though. Let's see, it says, it says layer empty. All right, what do I, what do I draw? Just, just draw like... Just, just draw, <laughs> I'm just gonna draw, just gonna draw this. Wow. Oh, that's him, that's Wolfie Wolfington. So there's Wolfie. Is that, is that the real Wolfie? Alright, what if I draw just draw something? Definitely still there. Okay, well I guess it doesn't work then. <laughs> I guess it just doesn't work. It works for me. It works in this program. There's two? What the? That's me. That's me over there. I think one thing that I'm not good at is like consistently drawing faces. I feel like every time I try to draw a face, it always it always looks different. It always just doesn't look the way I expect it to. do this it's a bit hard to find if I know it's there I can move it 
Well, every every software is just built and different. It's just uh, it's not like this one. This one, an iPad, just different. Look, there is a guy here. They just drew a guy. I haven't really used a desktop art program in a long time. Like ever since I got an iPad, I just draw everything on iPad now. It's just like a lot more convenient for me to not have to look at my screen. I guess like, I guess uh, for people that have tablets that have an actual screen on it, I guess it would be the same. But I don't have that. And I had the old type of on so the old tablet needed to have hand-eye coordination anyway but now we know now we know it doesn't work in some apps you could try it though I use Apple pencil I do The other, the other type of styluses on, on the iPad, I guess, aren't really as good. Everything here is really optimized around Apple Pencil. It's good though. It is, it is expensive though. It is, it is pretty pricey. From my, from my years of using it, I think it's pretty good. It is, it is pretty great and it's pretty like, good quality. I'm using the uh, the Apple Pencil one though. The one that doesn't have mag magnetic charging or whatever. Okay, what do I draw? What do I even want to draw? This is a problem I have like when I when I feel like sketching stuff. I just like scribble random things and never like have a concrete idea of what I want to draw. All the ads I'm seeing today on Twitch is the Apple Vision Pro. You think like everyone has like $3,500 to spend on one of these? I, I would imagine that the people, you know, someone would just like see an ad and be like, oh yeah, I, that, that seems cool. $3,500? Sure, I'll buy it. And I feel like all the people that would be interested probably were already watching the uh, the Apple event where they revealed. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not true at all. They said it's 3K, now it's 3.5K. Are they targeting consumers now? I guess yeah. I guess it it is it is the pro market though. Thirty five hundred is probably the lowest entry. Yeah, probably. I don't know. It's too much. It's too much money. They spend all this time optimizing around like having a screen in front of it that shows people your eyes. That probably costs like a thousand dollars itself, right? <laughs> Just to have the screen in the front. I imagine most people probably don't care about that. And I think if they release like a new model, right? They'll have like a non-pro model. I guess they could save money by not putting that screen in the front. And then they'll be like, yo, look at, look at this, guys. We saved two thousand dollars. Wow. Look at how much cheaper it is. And you're just like, yeah, we, we never needed this. We didn't even need this screen in front. How's HoloLens doing? I don't even know anyone who ever talks about that. I've only ever seen it recently in 
when people were talking about the, the Apple thing. They want the pores to see it, so they think their other products are more reasonably priced. Oh yeah, they'll be like, yo, this thing is only $2,000. Remember when it was $3,500? This is such a deal. It's like $1,000 off. $1,500 cheaper. It's advanced. The demo videos from Apple had someone using it on a plane. Probably someone in first class, right? I don't, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think someone in, uh, an economy class is going to be wearing that thing. I, I guess maybe. I don't know. Probably. Right? If you got 3500 it was economy. That feels like if you bring that on the plane and you're using it, I feel like people will, like, target you to get robbed, right? They'll, they'll probably be like, they'll know. This guy has money. I'm going to rob this guy. It'll happen. They'll be waiting for you at the gate. Someone will be like, a oh, person in seat 18A has a lot of money. A lot of money. They could just target everyone in first class. Well, I mean, they could they could specifically try to steal the, the headset. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm drawing. It's so out here I'm drawing things on a canvas. Has anything else have been happening recently? Any other news worth talking about besides the uh, besides the Apple stuff? There's nothing happening in the world about the economy. How's the economy doing? Can anyone keep up with the economy? What's that like? She did, she did draw two emotes. I don't understand the wood emote. What even is that? Chokoji did. One wolf coin, seven wolf coin. How's the yen doing? You guys keeping track of the yen? The, the currency conversion rate between the yen? Is that, is that doing well? It's probably not even doing well. It's probably awful. It's probably like one, like 140 yen to one USD. It's a meme from her Discord. I know there's like the emote that has like numbers in it, but like I don't know what it's supposed to represent. One thirty nine point six eight. Yeah, basically 140. Basically the same thing. I'm zoomed in so much. Implies the poster finds someone very attractive. Oh, I see. It's the cat. It's the cat with the microphone. Mostly saw it used in the NSFW art posting channel. Oh, I see. I think the only channel that I check on Jax's Discord are the general channels. <laughs> and the announcement channels, I guess. Twitch general and general. All the other ones, I don't, I don't check any of those. It happens pretty often, like on a bunch of Discords that I'm on. If they have like a lot of channels, I tend to just read like one or two of them. And I just ignore everything else. Sometimes there's just there's too many. There's too many channels. Way too many. 
don't have time for that. My Discord only has uh, two channels that people can post in, and they're, they're basically the same. There's not really much of a difference. Is that Gumi? I just, I'm just making up a character. I guess it could be Gumi. Sure. Sure. I think I made, I think I made the body too, too tall. And then maybe like the top part of it kind of looks like goggles, right? It kind of looks like Gumi. <laughs> if, if these were goggles, that is that is indeed Gumi. Sort of. Rip. Choco J. Dead. I don't know what I'm drawing. <clears throat> what if I drew? What if I drew? Characters. What if I do people? You guys ever draw like just draw weird shapes and then be like, this is now a guy. This is this is now a human. This is now a weirdly shaped human. <laughs> For me, the two channels are whether I want to start a conversation with a topic or a picture or another pe or a piece of media. That is true. It's just it's just a man. It's just a weird looking guy. It's him. What do you guys normally draw? Anyone here do art? What do you guys draw? Anyone here drawing right now? As we speak, down here drawing. Actually, whoa, I just realized how much canvas I had left. I was drawing really small. Okay, I should, I should draw bigger. That's the issue sometimes. If you're drawing on iPad, you can. it's so easy to like zoom in and out and like rotate that sometimes I forget how zoomed in I am. Uh, welcome, Mel Latte. Hello, welcome to my stream. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't draw. You could though. You could. You could draw right now. You could be like, "Whoa, this seems cool. Drawing seems fun." I will now draw. You know, a pen tablet. Do you get it for a specific reason that isn't drawing related? Can't draw at work? Sure you can. You're drawing while watching. Let's go. Drawing some breaths. What does that mean? Yeah, Karagi's birthday. That is that is next month. You could indeed, you could choose to draw something for that. I want to try for 3D, maybe doodling around. But yeah, I guess, yeah, 3D does benefit sometimes. If you're like drawing textures, I guess. Or just, uh, I don't know. He's bring back sleep to private girl. I guess I, I guess I could draw her. Imagine having sleep. Imagine sleeping. Could not be me. I could not even sleep. Uh, welcome, welcome, X job. Currently building a presentation in LibreOffice. <laughs> you could you could use a. Uh... I remember I used to use LibreOffice back before Google Docs was a thing. Really, I would use that. All right, let's. I guess we'll. I guess we'll draw a sleep deprived girl. Let me check my own art for reference. Twitch, uh, Twitter.com/slash. 
Washington. Okay, this one. Okay, how would you, you draw someone who's sleepy? You just gotta, you gotta be like, gotta be. How did I draw this? I don't even remember how to draw. I just do this. Just do this. And then just like, just it, to make someone look tired, you just draw lines around here. Do this. I guess you could fill this in. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I relate to that. You draw amazing. Thank you. I, th I think. Thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like I just, I just make stuff up. Actually, does she doesn't look tired. She just looks annoyed. I think, okay, the way to make her look tired is to just... Just, uh... I don't know. How did I, how did I do it? <laughs> I don't know how I did it. No, she can't be, she can't be smiling. She has to be like... Like that, like that. What did the hair look like? The hair, the hair was like this. It's like that. Like that. I don't, I don't really know how to draw like the, the head shape. I feel like every time I draw it, it's like, it's like different. This angle, this angle, I don't know. This doesn't look right. No. No like that. I don't know. Good intuition and fundamentals. Just, just make up stuff. Not every human has the same change. Yeah, but I've drawn this one. I've drawn this. I've drawn this character. Just made it up. I mean, she's got like this thing over here. This is like the same pose. I always just draw characters looking to the left. Also welcome Luga. Dude, I don't know, that's her. Whatever. Um What okay, uh if I just just make up a just make up a character. Just draw you know, you could draw the same for consistency, you could try to draw the same character, right? You could draw, could draw the same character again. Sometimes I draw guidelines and then just don't actually pay attention to the guideline. And sometimes I draw like the head and it's huge and then I, I draw like the head down here and then I said, okay, actually, no, that doesn't work. Then I, then I erase this one. Streamer person north from current canvas position isn't looking to the right. <laughs> Most of them are though. This one isn't. You made your own ice cream sandwiches, but they suck. What the? Thank you, Mooney. Your art is also good. Love to see people draw. You know, people have different processes for doing art. It's like, wow, that's how they do this? That's, that's how they draw this? If I just did this. How do you make, you just, to make an ice cream sandwich, you just have ice cream and then you just have like a cookie. How, is is it easy to mess up an ice cream sandwich? Got into the mood to just play around with play around with, with Krita while Choco was streaming. Drew this. Yo, was that a fish? What is that? <laughs> I can't tell what that is. Is that a forest? That's a forest. Is that is that a guy in a forest? 
I think I linked this before. I don't think I saw this. The cookie has to be a specific blend of dough, otherwise it melts apart. I guess, I guess that makes sense, right? Sometimes it gets soggy. You don't want that. It's the last, th the last thing you want is for the cookie to melt. To be, <laughs> to be soggy once the ice cream melts. And bite through it and the cookies press the ice cream out of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think the ice cream has to be like... Like... Frozen? Not, not frozen, but like solid. I guess more solid. I called it a weasel, but it has wings and a flame. I could not tell. I could not tell what that was. It's very... Very abstract or... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I have issues with like symmetry. I know some people say you can just like flip the canvas horizontally and then like make sure it looks good even when flipped. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't do that. And that's why if every time you flip my art, I look at it and I'm like, this looks awful. Why would you flip? Why would you flip my art? doesn't even look good. Oops, okay, the, the eraser is too big. To this. Yeah, Wolf is sus flipped horizontally. See, they, these don't even look right. Like, something about this just looks weird. That... It's like when someone, when you see like a clipper and they take like a VTuber model and they flip it horizontally to get it to fit in the, in the thumbnail, it always looks weird. Like every time someone flips a Pomu Rainpuff horizontally, it just doesn't look right. Or like Amelia Watson. Like this is, this isn't the, the streamer I know. They've been flipped horizontally. I can't accept this. I can't accept that they've been flipped. I don't know what to draw. I feel like every every character I draw has this this hair thing. <laughs> it's, it's always it's always exactly like this, right? This this one it's like that. This one it's kind of like that. Flip the VTuber. Imagine being flipped horizontally. Draw one without. I could, uh, I could do that. How would you even do it? It'd be like, like that, <laughs> like this. Realize all of my emote hair licks point to the right, even when the face is pointed in different directions. Yes. Isn't that how it works? This could be a precure. This one. This character. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, it, yeah. It's not symmetrical. Wow. Anyway, it's been an hour. I'm gonna hydrate.
All right, and hydrated. I like how um people in the Moonybug Discord they spam the the sipping emote. It happens. I feel like this has happened in like other VTuber discords. Like what, every time like I draw uh, <laughs> I draw an animation of a VTuber and they add it as like a sticker in their server, everyone just spams it for like for like a week. Wait, she added it like uh, Karagi had one. Classic. Yeah, that one. That one right there. She do be sipping though. Did my... hold on. Did my... iPad stop working? I'm like drawing and it's not... This. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm using the eraser tool. Okay, I, I was on the wrong tool. Okay. Get this. She is freaking sipping though. <laughs> Get that sip. I'm gonna draw this looks like that, right? It's like this. Also, welcome, Cole. Wow. It's the same. It's the same thing. Streamer draws the same thing constantly, all the time. <laughs> the proportions are so off. Up here, sipping. This doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This looks different. What if it's a sippy a sippy cup drawing a Wolfie? What? what does that mean? A sippy cup sipping a Wolfie? What is that? I don't even understand. <laughs> like a triangle. Bam. I don't know what about this. This looks so different, right? Can I compare this? Is it the ears? Not the ears. What are these things? The, the hair? The angle? To check. Every time I like draw something, I have to check like a previous drawing I've done. I don't know. I don't know. Eh. Okay. I still have so much space left. Uh, <laughs> let me draw. Uh, what do I want to draw? What do I even? What do I even want to draw? Draw, draw character. Real space. Oh, it's just like I'm in outer space right now. For real. For real. What the? Actually, these eyes are not the same size. These eyes are not even the same size. Here we go again, drawing another character facing to the left. 
same same thing and <laughs> just keep drawing the same thing constantly I've never been to space look at all this space all this empty space it's too is too empty guys can I fill up all this space in like the next 40 minutes? <laughs> we are, yeah, we're literally in space right now. Earth is in space, therefore we are in space. Some people may disagree. They may say, okay, when we say space, we mean space, but like not on Earth. Is that even allowed? Just drawing a giant guy. Just draw a giant guy. That's such a waste. What a waste of space. I don't know. What if he's cool? He could be cool, but like... What if he's not cool? What if he's actually uncool? Looks good, thank you, thank you. I am just making up a character. As usual, I will draw a character once and then just never draw them ever again. Because I do not keep track of how I drew them. <laughs> Is that is the character. She looks fun to hang out with. Does she though? Doesn't she look like she's annoyed? She, she, it feels like she's annoyed. Who isn't? Love that. Love, love, love when a character is annoyed. No. I didn't even finish drawing this one. She's annoyed with yeah, with you, you, the viewer, the person who is viewing right now. don't know well what are you guys up to what's everyone doing today on this Tuesday it's Tuesday June 6th Out here watching twitch.tv twitch.tv slash waffles what do you guys eat what are you guys eating food anyone out here eating food I'm trying to draw this but i can't draw <laughs> sipping a wolfie yo haircut i got a haircut uh like a month ago three weeks ago maybe i don't remember fellow haircut getter you cut a single hair just one just one hair a protein shake what what is in a protein shake usually like protein powder or like um an egg maybe Markler made braised pork belly. That sounds pretty good. Pancakes. Pancakes also pretty good. 
The Asian market had pork belly for sale. Yo, 60%? That's like a lot of percent off. That sounds like a good deal. Unless they mark up their prices. Like, you know, sometimes, some places they set their price to be, like, more expensive than other places. And then, but then when they do, like, 20% off, and then it, it, it ends up being the same price as another place. But it feels like a discount. That's how they get you. Like, what the? This thing's 20% off? I gotta buy it right now. Otherwise, I might never see this deal again. But it's, it's the same. It's just the same. Peanut powder in mine, because it's also cheap. Oh yeah, I think some people, they put peanut butter, right? Some people, for protein, they just eat a bunch of peanut butter. They should sell food on Steam for the sales. Steam sales. They, they steam some food, right? Steamed hams. That, that's a thing. Two dollars per pound. Oh, they didn't actually say 60% off? But like, you go there often enough that you know. You're just like, this thing is normally more expensive than this. I knew a guy who ate little sandwiches made of rice crackers and eggs instead of protein shakes. Rice cracker sandwiches? That doesn't sound bad. It sounds... Yeah, it sounds, it sounds okay. Rice crackers, pretty good. Just an, just, uh, just an egg in between two crackers. They had the original price. Oh, I see. Yeah, they usually do that. They will usually say the price. It's up to you to calculate how good of a deal it is. Imagine doing math. Imagine someone goes there with a calculator and they're like, what the, this thing, we gotta calculate the exact percentage. Actually, I guess everyone has a calculator. <laughs> now, now that we have smartphones, everyone has a calculator on them. Okay, but imagine like an abacus. Someone brought an abacus. You do math. You guys, you guys doing math? I'm gonna assume that you did not mean the abacus. That you meant calculating. Yeah, imagine having a calculator in your pocket at all times. Could not, could not imagine. Could not even imagine this. You guys know how to use an abacus? You guys ever seen an abacus in real life? I have. Take my... Soroban abacus to work daily for a month or so. Is it is it good? <laughs> is it a good is it a good abacus? Again, abacuses on display as toys in elementary school. I think I think there's I, I've seen I've seen abacuses before. My grandpa might have used one. And like, I vaguely remember that he had one and he would just use it. <laughs> like, actually use it. Like, for, for real. I don't know where he got it. Or why he knows how to use it. It's helped me get better at multiplication of larger numbers. Yeah. I don't think we've heard this song before. This song is a bit... <laughs> this song is a bit... Jazzy. Is this jazz? I don't know. This is not jazz. I don't know what this is. I'm use one as well for real. Yeah, for real. 
they are pretty cool though. Peppy, is that a, is that a genre? Peppy. Peppa, <laughs> Peppa Pig. Yo, the other day I saw someone t I saw someone type out Pepper Pig, like not Peppa Pig, but just Pepper Pig, and that to me was so funny. I I laughed. I was like Pepper Pig, haha. -ha. Isn't it normally Peppa Pig? Wow, if this guy's saying a Pepper Pig, that's so funny. I laughed. It was so funny, guys. I hope you understand. You never see this. You never see Pepper Pig. It's like someone someone so serious, they're like, we can't we can't say Peppa Pig. That's Pepper. The pig with the pepper. I don't know. I don't know what this drawing is. This lady has seen something. What is she even looking at? Is there a certain number of beads separated by divider? I think. I think abacuses. There's like. On the bottom, there's like two, aren't there like two beads on the bottom and then like more on the top? I think, I think these, these two are separated, right? And I think each of those two stands for five, right? Did I make that up? I don't know. You have pepper pig. When you go to a restaurant and you order pepper pig. There's a Chinese style abacus. Are there other is is are there abacuses that are not Chinese? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It feels upside down. I also I haven't seen one in a while. Oh the Japanese abacus. Right. There's one bead on top and four on bottom. I'm sure there's like a lot of different ones. I didn't know. I simply I I was not aware of the different styles of abacuses. The abacai. Cool though, if you think about technology. Embassy, ABC. Yo, oh, that's me. Can I put this? I'm gonna put this on the intro screen. <laughs> Alfie Walfington, as drawn by Zoli3. Never use a slide rule? I have not, but I have, I have had professors talk about how they used to use a slide rule <laughs> back in the day. I don't really even know. It's like a ruler, right? But it's got like a thing you could slide on it. That's something. Technology. Technology do be wild though. A ruler with a <laughs> a ruler with a slider and a lot of conversions, including logarithm. That sounds pretty cool. It's all the rage back in the days before we had calculators. Imagine not even having a calculator. That's not as yes, freaked up. Living. How do people live without a calculator? I don't know what I'm drawing. Whatever. Let me just, just do this. <laughs> Let me just do this. Let's 
gonna I'm just gonna make up a hairstyle. What if I draw I can draw an among us? It's a, it's an Among Us right there. Oh yeah, there was that one meme a while ago of, of like Among Us eyes, right? You just do that. <laughs> you just do this. Let's ago. I remember this from months ago. Oh no, Among Us. Draw a face shape. How do people draw a face shape like this? Maybe. I like this one. This is my favorite drawing of today. I like it. I like it. everything else. Is okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I like the hair. It's like, it's cool, you know, short hair. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool sometimes. Maybe I should color some. Maybe I should use color. I haven't been coloring like at all. Actually, no, these proportions are off. This torso is too short. Like that. Oh, too much space. Why did I make the canvas this big? <laughs> or am I just drawing really small? Should draw I should draw a character facing the right. Have I drawn any characters facing the right? Just one. <laughs> Literally just just this guy as a joke. Okay, we'll draw we'll draw a character facing to the right. One guy. No? The Among Us? Above it? No, this is to the left. These are all facing the left. Facing the right. There's two to the right. Which one? <laughs> These? The guy in the top left? 
No, but they're all facing, they're all facing this way. This guy? <laughs> I don't know. No, he's facing, he's facing the left. Or facing our left, that's what I meant. I mean, if you look at all these, they're all facing that one. Also, welcome, Kuduna. Welcome to the stream, I'm just drawing. I'm just scribbling. Face it, yeah, face it. They're all, they're all looking... I guess they're all looking to the... No, they're, no, they're looking different directions. This one's looking straight ahead. Everyone is here. Literally everyone is here. Can draw a guy right here. Do a sippy sketch. Yo, this is uh this movie bug. This is a, this is an inferior version of an animation I made last week. It's there. It's out there. It's out there sipping. Because everyone knows hydration is important. It's one of the one of the most important things you can ever do in your life. It's hydrate. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm drawing now. It's just a guy. Just some guy. Just some guy who is concerned. Also, welcome, Escapade. Just a bald man. And just a bald guy. I guess if we, <laughs> is this Northern Lion? Yo, he's freaking. He's freaking bald. Actually, you know what? Sure, <laughs> sure. Why not? There he is. Yo, that's him. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen someone use one of his emotes. No one uses Northern Line emos, not even in his own chat. Everyone just uses better Twitch TV emotes. <laughs> Yo, Southern Tiger. Actually, he's he's on vacation this week. And it's so weird because uh I'm just so used to watching him like every day. I tune in and I'm like, yo, can't wait to watch uh, today's Northern Line stream. And then I'm like, oh yeah, he's out this week. This whole week. And I have to like find some other streamer to watch. He's messed up. How could he do this to me? Why can't he just stream all the time, nonstop for me specifically? Me, the viewer? Unbelievable. I'm telling me this guy's spending time with his his family? No. This <laughs> says a lot about society. You watch Fauna for that for when that happens, she's Northern Line adjacent. It, that is true. She has been playing a lot of Hitman. And that is like that's a bold man. Take this. Yeah, imagine if he was like, I'm gonna go on vacation specifically despite this one viewer who's used to watching me. <laughs> Just him. Only him. Well, there it is. Just a generic bald man with glasses. But he looks just like Northern Line. I could give him headphones. You know what? I'll do that. I'm gonna give him headphones.
is the pro strats. You can draw circles and then and then it'll just work. It'll just clean up the circles for you. Fauna has that streamer personality. No, she's like a fan of Northern Line. That's what that's what we mean. I'm sure you know that. Okay, draw this. Draw that. Someone will show up and be like, well, "This isn't this isn't the the headset that he wears." The fake fan. Doesn't he know that he wears Sennheiser? Uh, to whatever. <laughs> what, what? Anyone know what brand of headphones he wears? Also, welcome Razul. Doesn't he know he wears the Sennheiser 660S? He talked about this. Can't believe he doesn't know. He doesn't know everything about his his favorite streamer. Is he even a real fan? So a tweet today about someone shaving head on stream, finding their head had an indentation dent in their head from the headphones. That's something that people are concerned about. Like if you if you go bald and then you find out that your head is weirdly shaped. You know? What can you really do about that? Nothing. You just have to deal with it. That's just your life now. Well, here is here is a bald man, hot dog holder. Let's see, she's also that kind of VTuber you could just watch even without knowing anything about VTubers. She talks a lot about general topics. I feel like most VTubers I know don't really talk about VTubers though. <laughs> what the frick is that sound? Someone's calling me? Hold on. I'll call back later. Yeah, just be bald. Just simply be bald. Welcome. Hello. Well, hello people. Okay, hold on. What is a VTuber? What even is a VTuber? You should reply- no. What even- you guys ever even watch VTubers? You could be watching a VTuber right now. Literally as we speak. In Twitch.tv. Oh god, <laughs> hold on. Okay. I'm calling multiple times. Maybe it's important. You know, this is about when I end my stream, right? No. no I'll call back. Call back later. I never get phone calls. What the frick? Okay, hold on. Okay, I will answer. <laughs> hold on. Nope. Okay, they did not. Uh... No. They just... Hung up. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Persistent. I I don't know. Whatever. I'm out here. Just drawing. Yo, what if someone what if someone is dying? What if it's about my uh Car's extended warranty. If you call every New York number, one of them will be Wolfie's. That is true. What if someone's watching this stream? And they'll be like, what the? <laughs> I called Wolfie. That's his number. I'm calling every number just to see if uh, if it gets picked up on stream. Draw them a memorial ahead of time, it'll be good. Just a <laughs> Choco J Choco J dead. What if some imagine dying though? 
Imagine being someone who is dying right now. Let's see, my phone was recently trying to make me enable some feature where a robot answered my call and asked what it's about. Oh, I had that on, when I used to use Android, I had that. It was pretty good, actually. It would transcribe the uh, the audio for you. It'd be like, hello, the person you've dialed is using a automated screening service from Google. Can you please state what you know what the call is about? Brand, it's uh, it's on it's on Pixel phone. At least mine was. I don't know about his. I would use it all the time for, for numbers that I don't recognize. I will never buy a Pixel phone. Okay. It's optional though. It might, I don't know if it's specific to Pixel or if it's um, uh, a Google Fire thing. Did it enable because I would rather not answer at all. I guess that's also true. You could also just not pick up. You can simply just ignore it, have it go to voicemail. If it's important, they'll leave a message, right? Usually. Probably. Do people even check their messages? Do people even know they have voicemail waiting for them? If you use Google Fi, it does, it has like a dedicated app. Like a lot of voicemail, you have to call them, you have to call a number and then it'll be like, you have three messages. To listen to the messages, press one. To delete message, press two. And stuff like that. But on Google Fi, you could just open the app and then it, it like transcribes it for you. You don't even need to listen, you could just like... Uh, check the the text and then just if you're interested you could press play i feel like most people don't even know how to check their voicemail maybe that's why people don't leave messages because they're like okay what if the person doesn't even check what if i go through all this effort of leaving a message the person just doesn't even care And just ignore it. I'm just ignoring the message. Just like me. I will ignore every number I don't know. Unless I'm expecting a call. If I'm expecting a call, then I'll pick up. But usually if I don't know who it is, I'm just like, this is, uh, this is not for me. Like 99% of the time, it's just a spam call anyway. Yep. Oh god, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick up. <laughs> I was gonna pick up and then they just didn't they just did not uh they just hung up no it's weird very very weird i don't know what's happening you know sometimes sometimes people dial by accident like sometimes i'll get a call from my grandma okay hold on hold. okay i'm gonna try to pick up Dude, they keep hanging up. They keep calling and hanging up. <laughs> what the frick is happening? I don't know. I'm trying to pick up. Is this a prank? Am I being pranked right now? Anyway, so like sometimes my my grandma will call and then I'll call back and be like, hey, what, what's up? And she's just like, I, I didn't call you. <laughs> I think she just like pressed the, pressed the number by mistake. Uh, 
Oracle's call back. Yeah, but I'm like, I, I could end my stream first, I guess. Could end, I could end my stream. I will do that. New type of scam calls. I don't know. It is a number I know though. <laughs> I know I know who it is. But I'm not gonna say because it's, it's on stream. I'm on stream. It is a person I know. But why would they hang up when I try to pick up? Why would they hang up? I don't know. Maybe it is important. Maybe it's critical information. Maybe if I don't pick up, something awful will happen. I don't know. The right, yo, the One Piece is real? Wolfie, I found the One Piece. You won't believe this. It was literally under my couch. It was literally stuck under the couch. Let me try it. Yo, that's sipping. What the? It seems, it seems interesting. interesting. Really cool. Thank you. Thank you for the drawing. Is that in Krita? Are you drawing that in Krita? It's a cool brush. It is. I knew it. You were talking about Krita. And I was like, that's totally Krita. I knew it. It's definitely Krita. Critical, critical, a critical hit. Alright, well, I guess I guess I'm about to end my stream then, because you know, it's about when I end the stream. I guess it's about the end. This is approximately the time that I end my stream. Approximately. Maybe. I don't like how these eyes look. I always have trouble drawing eyes. <laughs> That's good. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's that's how you, okay. This, uh, <laughs> what the heck is that? Favorite part is when I use the bonk redeem to get a reference. Hey, why am I angry? <laughs> I, I accidentally pressed the angry button. I forget that I have these, uh, <laughs> I forget I have these expressions. Sometimes my, my iPad uh, accidentally presses on a button on my stream deck. And then it toggles the expressions. This, this face, this face is cute. It's the 
the face of like, what the heck? The heck is this? Here, what if what if this is what if this is Mooney? What the what the? <laughs> it is. I guess that's it for this for the stream. That's it. I've drew I've drawn many things. I still I like this one. This is my favorite one. Also, welcome Frank. Draw uh, Wolfie drawing live. I'm about to end the stream. It is about to be over soon. Wait, what is it? It's like one of these. Fog. I don't know. Like your drawing is your own inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. I do attempt to draw sometimes. Sometimes I'm out here and drawing. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks everyone. I will we will find out what day it is and then we'll raid someone. Alright. National Eyewear Day, Yo-Yo Day, Queensland Day. Russian Language Day. D-Day. Apple, app, freaking applesauce cake? Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? Drive-in movie day, gardening, exercise day, higher education day, visually impaired people day, remove the pest day, Cynthia day. It's a name for a day for people named Cynthia. Let's do National Yo-Yo Day. Let's do that one. National Yo Day Raid. Right, who's streaming? Who's out here streaming? You could watch Choco Jacks play Super Mario Sunshine. I'm sure Hamflow is streaming. Uh, oh, he's playing Smash Bros. Yeah, he's playing Smash Bros. Um, let's see. Let's see, who do I read? Who is streaming? Oh, it's Alice Sawyer's birthday. We can read. We can read Alice Sawyer. He's doing a birthday stream of some sort. To read. You know what? You could just say you could just say happy birthday. You could also say that. You could also say happy birthday. <laughs> you could say National Yo-Yo Day and also happy birthday. Read. Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll be back on on tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with VR fishing. Got Dark Souls 2. Then we got um Miku Picross. Then Saturday we got something. Some some sort of thing that I'm gonna stream, I don't know. Yeah, there's Miku. Miku Champ. Not even Miku Pog, just Miku Champ. Uh, welcome, Faye Channel, as well, and goodbye. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, have a good rest of your Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on time zone. The raid.
is about to go. Okay, it's sending. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs>